forwards at the moment, Carl. It's another game two halves for you guys. Yep. Four in the first, really good in the second. You feel like you, you could have won that? Well, we were probably the most team likely to win it. Uh, obviously against a very good team, MacArthur, we know that. We had a good game against them in the first game of the season. Uh, first off, we weren't at our levels. I said to the guys, I thought we played at 80%. We, we didn't win a second ball. We didn't win any tackles. Jules, they come out on top, and I thought they were probably deservedly ahead, even though it was a set-piece goal and it was poor marking from us. But they responded brilliantly. I've got a great group of boys in there that actually want to learn, which is important, and show terrific character. And I thought, you know, as the game went on, we got stronger and stronger. Amazing goals for you guys. <laughs> How do you appreciate the bench? Both of them really yeah. nice. Yeah, I'd, I'd take a little tap in to be honest. I, I think we've missed too many uh, of opportunities, but wonderful goal by Dozer. Um, he's picked the ball up, he's done what a midfield player needs to do and won his duels. He's won that. He's looked at seeing the goalkeeper out. You know, he's we identified that Adam's out quite a bit. <laughs> he's like an outfield player as well when they have the ball. And he saw him off his line and he took another touch and then obviously lobbed him. It's a it's a highlight real goal and I think it'll be showed for years to come and rightly so. The second one as well was uh, there was another guy that agreed to start talking. Yeah, no, it's uh, I think Yano said that he actually meant it. I don't know. Listen, you don't know. You trust in players when it comes off, it's great. It could sometimes hit him on the back and go out. So I don't know, but obviously Coxie getting a touch was important as well. You've got to be in those areas. Two fantastic goals, but I thought it was a really good game of football today. Two, two goals from set pieces, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm, happy with that. I'm really happy with that. No, <laughs> uh, I'm very unhappy. Listen, we haven't conceded a goal in open play yet. All right, so I give the guys credit for that because we defend for our lives. You see some of the last ditch tackles and defending crosses and blocks. Excellent, excellent. But we've conceded six set pieces, and six set pieces include, I think, two penalties. So we need to rectify that. That's just a concentration issue. Um, we got in the wrong position for the first goal. And we know that. And the second goal, he's obviously out jumped Patrick. So, you know, we need to make sure that we don't do that because as good a game as you have or bad a game as you have, you can score from a set piece. Uh, and probably teams will look to do that against us. You know, if we can tidy that up, we're not a bad team. You said in your pre match interview that the team is nowhere near where you want them to be. Yeah. After tonight's performance, do you feel like that's getting closer to your ideal target? The second half? Yeah, probably the second half. Football's football's the best game in the world, and it's the best game in the world because no two halves of football usually are the same. You know, and you get a chance at half time to respond if you've had a good half or a bad half, and vice versa. So we didn't play well in the first half. Like last week, I thought we did play well, and we didn't play well in the second half. What our, our issue is, and we need to rectify, is we need to play well for 90 minutes. If we do that, or 70 minutes, because even if you dominate a whole game, the opposition team will have a period of play. They've got good players. There's good players in this league and each team has good players. you just got to make sure you don't concede in those moments. And that's where we need to tidy up with our set pieces. But there's a lot of good stuff from the day I walked in. The boys have been terrific. Great character. 1-0 down, 2-1 down. Terrific character and still trying to win it at the end of the game. So I'm really p pleased with them today. Jump online, Carly. you got a couple just to wrap us up. Um, yeah, Carl, do you have an update on Dylan McGowan? Yeah, out. Didn't play today. He um, he's probably no. Nah, he's yeah. he's probably gonna be. Oh, I don't know. Uh, four to six or eight. That's what I get told. Obviously, we, we were missing a couple of players today, and um, you know we we're missing Tass. You know Tass come off last game, and he. I'm glad I took him off because his ankle wasn't right. And I think I've avoided a, a nasty injury, which would have been 12 weeks. Now we might get away with a four-week injury. So managers usually do things for certain reasons. Sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. We're missing Nikolai Muller. Obviously, we've got Muchi and we've got Juki in um, quarantine at the moment. So there's five arguably starting players. So for the boys to actually commit what they did today and be good, if you've got a shirt, you've got the chance, you know, stay in the team. But... Dylan's probably four to six or eight weeks. I know that's not great because it's a four week gap, but he's not going to be probably seen for the next four weeks for sure. And just lastly, I guess you've become really familiar with the other New South Wales teams, these opening rounds of the A League. Are you looking forward to getting a taste of some of the other the, um, teams from the other states? 
Yeah, definitely. I don't like traveling. I'm sick of traveling in Major League Soccer. So it's actually nice when we get uh, local rivalries. And I think, as you said, the game of football today, I think it's a local derby. It's a great advert. That's what you want. You want two teams going at each other. And obviously, managers will probably turn gray with it. But I think what supporters want to see is good games of football, which they're getting at the moment. Last time, three yeah. so Just quickly, there was a lot of chat on social media tonight about the pitch. It didn't look particularly good from a television yeah. aspect. Was it an issue? Did it play in your Am I allowed to comment on the pitch? Um, it cut up very easy. You know, I didn't go on the pitch up until the end to shake the referees and the players' hands. But um, if you're going to produce a good product, you need a good pitch. Um, it was hard. Obviously, we, we dodged the storm, which was important, but it did cut up a little bit. So I don't know. If you ask the players, I'm sure they'll be a little bit more honest than what I did because I didn't have to control a ball or pass or run or move. So I'll sit on the fence with that, Vince. Okay.